students at the University of California, Davis, are rejoicing over the official departure of former campus police officer Lieutenant John Pike, better known as the Pepper Spray Cop. Pike drew outrage from around the world last November after he was caught on video pepper spraying a group of UC Davis students who were staging a peaceful demonstration against the school's tuition hikes. The video, which shows Pike callously firing the chemical spray directly into the eyes of students seated just a few feet in front of him, soon went viral. According to the Sacramento Bee, Pike received a barrage of more than 10,000 angry text messages and 17,000 email complaints after his personal information was leaked over the internet by the hacker group and close Occupy ally Anonymous. UC Davis spokesman Barry Schiller confirmed that Pike's employment with the university officially ended on Tuesday, July 31st, but declined any further comment. The pepper spray cop had been on paid administrative leave for the eight months since the incident occurred. In 2010, Pike's annual salary was listed as $110,000. A task force established to investigate the incident determined in April that Pike's actions were objectively unreasonable, stating that, quote, on balance, there is little factual basis supporting Lieutenant Pike's belief that he was trapped by the protesters or that his officers were prevented from leaving the quad. Further, there is little evidence that any protesters attempted to use violence against the police." End quote. Their report concluded, quote, the pepper spraying incident that took place on November 18, 2011, should and could have been prevented, end quote. Michael Risher, a staff attorney with the American Civil Liberties Union, told the Los Angeles Times earlier this year that using military-grade pepper spray and police violence against nonviolent student protesters isn't just wrong, it also directly violates the Constitution. Risher stated, quote, When the cost of speech is a shot of blinding, burning pepper spray in the face, speech is not free, end quote. In what might be seen as a happy coincidence, the city of New York has announced it will not be paying the legal fees of its most famous pepper spraying cop, Anthony Bologna. Bologna is being sued by two Occupy Wall Street protesters he pepper sprayed last fall. The incident was captured in a viral video. A city official estimated that such a refusal happens in less than 5% of federal civil rights cases against cops. The police union will foot Bologna's legal bills.